God, I was rolling up on my base. Thought, oh no, I got destroyed. But I forgot last episode, we tore that thing down. It's looking real good here. So uh, eventually we'll get all these spikes tore out. Um, all of this leveled off. We'll protect around here a little more too, of course, because if I'm down there doing stuff, the screamer is going to be aiming for this area here. Uh, maybe I'll put some blade traps or something around the outside of this and then turn them on when I'm inside. That, oh, that would actually, I think, work really, really, really well. Uh, anyway, uh, welcome back, guys. Seven Days to Die, base day one here. Today's episode is going to be all about making this horde base square and better. So I want a nice square inside here. We're going to wrap the outside with blade traps uh, because we did get that one blade trap kit, which had 10 of them in it. So... Bam, we have to take advantage of that. So we're going to organize this a little nicer. It's going to be square. Uh, so visually, it'll be better too. Uh, we're going to wrap, I think, maybe a couple layers of electricity here, electric fence around the outside, and then blade traps on the inside, and then, of course, trap traps on the inside. Um, bike traps. Anyway, I got to get to work here, guys. Uh, I think what I'm going to do is... What are we going to do first here? You know what? I'm going to start tearing out all these electric fence posts. Now, in my excitement here, I totally forgot my bike was full of stuff. And we have some magazines to read here, too. So uh, I'm going to leave trader stuff up in here. Ooh, how many trader coins do we have now? We have uh, 27,293. Nice. We're getting up there with those. Let's do a quick read of these magazines here to get them uh, out of my inventory. Four forged ahead, so that brings us up to 72 of 75. I think at 75, we can actually just make our own crucibles. Uh, we'll have to check that out here in just a second. And medical is getting up there too. Nice. I can make a first aid kit now. Okay, so uh, let's check that out. Ah, yes. Level 75 is Crucible, so uh, we're not too far away. Uh, vehicles, we're still struggling a little bit. I would love to get off this damn mini bike. Uh, let's take a look here at our skills character. So generally, oops, uh, skills here. Uh, generally, we're doing pretty well with uh, our appropriate uh, level zombies. We're taking them out pretty quickly with our spear here. I do eventually want to get spear master up and quick and perceptive uh, complete. Uh, but for now, uh, what I think is a good idea, too, is to put some more points here into the uh, into the intellect tree. Uh, Grease Monkey would be a good one to get. I do believe this starts giving you uh, more magazines here for vehicles. And that would greatly help at this point. Now, another thing we do need a lot of is iron here. We're getting really behind on that. We probably need to make a little, a uh, few more spikes here uh, before and after Horde Night. Let's take a look at this thing. It hasn't been running here for uh, quite a while. Oh, cool. I just got the Marco Polo trophy. Nice, nice. Okay, so we have a ton of iron already up in here. Let's spread a little, you know what? We'll put that iron in there. Put that clay soil up in there too. And how many can we make? 493? Done deal. Oh, craps. We got ourselves a little good old-fashioned. Whoa! Look at the size of this wandering horde. I mean, literally, they're all the same zombie. Uh, what? In the world? You know what? Let's do a little bit of a duck here. Nice. Off with his head. Holy crap. That's hilarious. I don't think I've ever seen this happen. That's a lot of zombies that are all the same. At least they're in different suits. Hey, what's this guy doing over here? I think that was just a natural spawn. Or maybe not. They seem to be walking sideways here. Oops. Good, good target practice, though. Oh, hello. Where did you come from? Must be a natural spawn. There we go. Holy crap, look at this. They're all on that electric fence over there. <laughs> yeah, I'm loving it. It actually holds them. 
quite long. Wow, how, how long is that fence actually going to hold them there? Is it something to do with how the ground is? How I built that area up? Because, like, look at them. These guys are actually stuck. Oh, there's loot bags, too. Nice. Huh. I'm going to have to observe this. And see if this is a thing that happens on this section of electric fence. Because if that's a thing, I know how we're going to be doing our defenses. That, that's that's freaking crazy. All right, we got some decent loot in there. What do we have in here? Some magazines, four motor tool parts, and a whole whack load of stuff. Okay, well, let's wear this nerd outfit here. Read some medical journals. 58 of 75. And uh, fist, I uh, don't really care about, but whatever. Okay, that was fun. Oh, wow. Look at that. It is morning time. Welcome back, folks. I am uh, underneath our horde base here. I'll show you guys what's going on here in a second. I got a little carried away, but I think this is going to work really, really well here. Let's uh, head back over this way into what looked like a void. Oh, thank God, that's not some sort of glitch. On Crouch here. Uh, so this is the original underneath the base. What I've done is I have come and cut this area out here. Uh, our ladder and entrance into downstairs is all over here. Uh, what I could do is put our generators here in this area and run our electronics down towards our horde base all underneath and have it be a lot safer than it was. I'm going to finish up this little bit here, and then we're going to go and take a look at the surface, see what I've done. Uh, here we are up at the surface. So I've created a little bit of a trench here and covered it with uh, some cobblestone blocks. Uh, underneath there is our excess tunnel over to our hard base um, electrics here. And what I've done is thrown a... Um, I hope this really doesn't backfire on me, but I do plan on throwing like a... A little system all the way around the outside of it here so that i can get underneath these blade traps and repair them if i want to repair them from down there or wire them up easily so what i've used is scaffolding ladders to do that right there now i'm pretty sure once i dig this area up here it'll close off this weird little hole uh, and we won't have any access or problems on the side here uh, this has been actually happening a lot lately in this area um i don't know if it's because my ps5 has been overheated i've been uh, playing and using it all day, but uh, I do hope that uh, that doesn't stick around. Now, as you can see, I have actually reduced our spikes to a 9 by 9 area. And I've put three blade traps on each side. Now, the one thing is, is I can jump on these blade traps, which means the zombies can jump on the blade traps. And that's not a good thing, so... Uh, what I'll probably do is put uh, one electric, or electric fence going along here and then one electric fence going around the outside of the tips and then one more electric fence going around the outside of the entire thing. Okay, that's driving me absolutely uh, bananas. I'm going to try logging in and out and see if that'll stop it. Whole circle, just like that. And if you look, it's day 35. Holy crap, has Horde Knight sprung upon us. Uh, but we do, I don't, yeah, that's going to keep happening, I guess, guys. Uh, but anyway, everything else is good to go under here. We got a uh, trench all the way around. Eventually, I'll come in and dig out these walls here and make them a little better because we need the soil anyway. Uh, we need to backfill a lot of topsoil. So now my next objective is to uh, build a generator here. Let's get the generator going. Track that and uh, just get the electronics, get that all hooked up. I can't really talk too much because it is horde day. And uh, I do want to make sure that <laughs> we get this done. We're not left high and dry. Okay, power is hooked up here. Generator bank turned on. This is going to be for our blade traps let's go up to the surface here and make sure 
Uh, all of those blade traps are spinning and working. We're really coming down on hard night here, guys. So we got to move along uh, as quick as possible. Oh, I did miss one right here. Yeah, that's okay. We missed one on that side. We got all of these right here. Oh, and I missed one on this end too. Okay, on that end. Oh, two of them. <laughs> Damn it. Okay, I'll figure this out. And last one hooked up. So we're all running now. That is a lot of blade trapness. Uh, I'm going to actually turn off these blade traps for now because uh, we need to go and work on that base. There we go. Let's turn those bad boys off and come over this way here. Make sure we jump over our electric fence. You don't get electrocuted. Uh, whoa. Uh, I don't have time for you guys. <laughs> uh, it's okay. Let's go. Whoa. What the heck? It's all soldiers. What is with these random, random wandering hordes? This is so weird. Okay, you know what? Whatever. Those guys can uh, can suck it for now. Uh, so what we're gonna do here? Oh, damn it, guys! I need electric or uh, electric fence post. We need to get those going too. Uh, I'm gonna use our old electric system here that's running uh, up there, up there to here. Yeah, we'll, we'll hook up to this for the electric fence uh, assembly thing. And then uh, next Horde Night, we'll, we'll run a new uh, line for that. But for now, we'll use the existing system with the generator and stuff we have over there. So this first system here, I said, ooh, damn, I want it on the inside, but I want to make sure that the zombies uh, can't jump on these to get up there. Because, yeah, you can actually get on top of these little suckers if you need to. Uh, there we go. One over there. One over there. We're going to have to, like, overlap these, I guess. Uh, one here. Yeah, I don't... No, if uh, they won't hit them. We can't place these within the blade trap block. Okay, and then we will have to go uh, right here. So I think if we go click, 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 we should be able to pull off the first row. Okay, that didn't work out as planned here. So let's try that again. So this is going to be the lead. We wanted to go to the inside here, but we can't go to the inside if we go to the outside, avoiding a block there. If that makes any damn sense. There we go. So we got to go from there to there. And then we can do the same thing over on that end. I got this. Yeah, there we go. That works out. Let's go ahead, slap that on there. We are going to get this thing here. Uh, we're going to get this connected, actually. Let's disconnect. Do this the right way here. Come out here. Go to here to our fence post. And uh, we're going to make sure that these lights still work. I'm, I'm going to go. We're going to be a little dangerous. We're going to work on the live system here. I just want to make sure everything is kosher. Let's run over here to our old house. Old powerhouse. Turn this bad boy on. Well, yeah, look at that. We still got lots of headroom here. Okay, so lights are on. Let's check out this electric fence over here. This is going to hurt a little bit. Ow. Okay, cool. Uh, so all I need to do then is do a... Uh, oh, yeah, we can put, just put one in each corner now. One, 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 one. And then another one here uh, to end it all. And our last hookup is right down here. We got to back up a little bit and bang. Okay, there we go. Now we got a perfect grid here across these blade traps. So if they do come in and jump on top of them, uh, they're going to be jumping on top of electric uh, wires, which will greatly help us here. Uh, now what we really need to do too is get them bad boys all nice and covered up so we don't step on them. Uh, you know what? Yeah, just like this, we'll expose. Oh, wait, no. Yeah, we want the outer layer here. Oh, oh. Uh, exposed. I want these corners to not be exposed because I don't want the zombies to jump on them and be able to jump. Because as long as it's like one block away, right? Like we can probably do that block in there. Yeah, just like that. Okay, that'll work. I am think I'm preemptively going to call this thing uh, the zombie shredder here, guys. It's not big. It's not complicated. And it definitely should get the job done. Uh, now, one question is, 1640, we're getting so close to here, uh, is do we have enough electricity left over to do another 
row of electric fence around the outside of the horde base here. Let's take a look. We got 64 watts only used and we have 150 putting out. Oh, we're good, guys. We're good. Oh, actually, I don't think I hooked up. Oh, dang. I don't think I hooked up that last little little round here, uh, but we should be okay. I'm going to lay it out and see if we need to add more engines to it. Oh, yeah, we can get another row in here. Uh, so we are going to have three rows of electric fence here. This base is going to be absolutely deadly. There we go. Let's hook up the last row of electric fence here. And it looks like we should be go uh, good to go. Let's double check uh, our output over here. If that's good, I'm going to go and rush and try to get my inventory ready here for, uh, for Horde Night, guys. Okay, we're at 114, putting out 150. Oh my goodness, guys. We are good to go here for a while. We'll leave that on. We got our perimeter defenses on. We got our interior defenses on, except for the blade traps. But hey, guys. Oops, that is, <laughs> that is not my base. I am really looking forward to this. Uh, Mr. Zombie. You're a little old place here, bud. Is he running through? No, I was going to say, there's no way there's a second horror. There we go. Get rid of that guy. Let's get my stuff together here, guys. Holy crap, we're running out of time. Here we go, guys. Everything is running. Full blast. It is 1900. We only have a couple hours left here to uh, horde night. I am still making some blocks, so I'm going to fill in a little bit of that waiting time here, uh, putting these into the ground. Uh, but most for that, I'm going to plop my butt right on top of that base and wait. This is uh, really anticipating this hard night, guys. Here we go. Been listening to the blade trap sounds here for a little bit, reading comments for five minutes too. They're going to come from the west. Definitely the west this time around, I think. And it is upon us. Which direction are they coming from here? Oh, damn. I was way wrong. They're coming from the complete opposite direction here. Okay, look at them coming in. They're hitting the perimeter defenses, and it's really slowing them down. Uh, so I'm not actually getting a ton of them here on me at the same time. Oh, nice. Even if they bunch up in the corner over there, I can kill them manually and the blade traps don't get them. Because uh, I won't get full XP for killing them if the traps do, right? Okay. Oh, guys, I forgot. Okay, let's check this real quickly here. We are at 1,789 enemy kills. Oh, I almost ran off the edge. Stupid auto run here. Let's switch that off. Oh, okay. We have our first uh, officer incoming here. Um, he has made it past. Our defense is here, and damn. Okay, they're stacking up. That's okay. We got this. There we go. Nice. We got a blue loot bag already. Okay. Let's see if we can reach that. We can. Got uh, a little bit of loot out of that. <laughs> wow, that perimeter defense is really slows down the horde here for horde night i like that makes it so much more manageable that's called crowd control ladies and gentlemen okay we got another loot bag there uh my inventory though almost full of stuff here i grabbed for horde night because we have my shotgun too i figured why not use the shotgun up for horde night right if we're gonna do uh, any of them okay speaking of let's actually repair that bad boy Okay, these guys are stacking up over here. Nice. Okay, we're going to get some serious XP from tonight, too. Uh, that, which is really good, because I want to get some more levels here. We need some more skill points, guys. We need to advance further. Oh, and you know what I forgot to do here? Just thinking. Guys. Oh, nice. We got the kill uh, lumberjack zombies challenge complete. I didn't eat, eat my good foodstuffs. Dang it. Mm. 
Okay, I wonder what is making them jump. It must be the arrangement of this right here. Uh, I don't know, but it hasn't really posed as a huge problem yet. I'm sure it will eventually. We'll have to alter the design a bit. See, that to me just feels like wasting bullets. But what this does allow... Look, we have a cop coming in over there. Okay, he took some shots. We have a cop coming in from over here. Oh, damn, he blew up. But he didn't take out our light or anything, so we're good. We're good. <laughs> okay. Uh, so it seems... We need to come in a little bit in the corner here with this design. There we go. Okay, okay. I think they're actually jumping on top of those and getting up. I think that's what I'm seeing here. Nice. Finally starting to hit some blade traps here. They haven't even made it through uh, our first ring of defenses. Okay, loot's starting to pile up. Nice, those blade traps doing their job. Oh, we have one coming in over here. Come on down there, big guy. Oh, damn, he's spit real close. Whoa, is there a loot bag over there? How did something die all the way over there? I don't get it. Okay. Oh, here they are. This is where they're hitting the blade traps. Okay. Holy crap. Look at the pile of them over there just standing there. Looks like they're actually paralyzed. Okay, that's a little weird. We actually got a few in that state now. Hmm. Okay, that was dangerous. We should just let those cops, I think, uh, come in nice and close so I can take care of them. Ah, yeah. This high, this horde base is highly effective. Uh, last horde night, we almost ended up, I believe, almost 400 kills. Uh, I wonder if we're going to outdo that here tonight. Almost feels like it. Okay, I have some wood on me here. You know what we could do? Ooh, that's dangerous. I was going to build a chest and put it right in the middle. <laughs> I don't... Whoa! I don't think I'm willing to risk that quite yet. Okay, come on in here, dude. Oh, yeah. A lot easier to dispatch them here with my spear. Save on that ammo, too, because once we get turrets, uh, we'll be dumping a lot of that. Okay, we have some more coming in from this direction now. This is nice, nice, nice and controlled. Hey dude, what's up? Okay, so we gotta fix that up there. That up there, okay. There we go. Make sure that corner is all good. I think we have to do the same over here too. Oops, that's not right. Like that? One, two, one. We got one, two, one. Oh, okay. Um, I'm not paying attention over here, but there we go. The blade trap stepping up here. Nice. Oh, guys, that sound is so satisfying. Just a swish, 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 swish. Just cutting right through the zombies here. Damn, I grabbed some loot. <laughs> we have, like, no room in my inventory. Dang it. Oh, yeah, they're getting messed up by those blade traps. Even these soldiers here not having such a great time. Whoa! Oh, that scared the crap out of me, stupid bird. We got this. Nice. Keep on coming, guys.
Hmm. Well, that looks a little weird. What's that guy doing down there? Oh, we got a bird coming in here and I can't see it. Oh, those aren't birds. Those are just uh, zombie shadows. Uh-oh. I wonder if I did, I, I messed all that up by flattening out the ground like this. Really didn't have an issue until I started doing that. Oh, we almost got another level here, guys. Ah, oh, stupid bird, come here. I gotcha. One down. Oh, wait. What? Did a bird get hit by the electrical fence over there? It did. That bird, for some reason, was in the electric fence. <laughs> I wonder if that's right at the area that they're spawning at. Uh, if that's the case... Damn, we could really take care of those birds easily. Come on down, guys. Yeah, I like this. They don't even really have a chance to hit the uh, hit the blocks right here. We haven't had to worry about the edges at all so far. This this is cool. Very, very effective. Oh, I swear there. Oh, yeah, I was gonna say, I swear I hear another bird. There we go. Let's get him out of here. I think those things are more annoying than the damn dogs, guys. Oh, look at that, level 46. Nice. Hmm. I wonder if there's something I could change to fix that. I love seeing them just standing out there getting a nice little zap in before they come to get a nice little zap. Damn, electrical fence, guys, is seriously OP. And this is just our first electric fence. They haven't even made it into the second one yet. <laughs> oh, this is great. This horde base is going to last us here for, I think, at least the next horde night. We really shouldn't have to do, I think, too much to it, other than uh, maybe improve the ground around it. That way, if there's an explosion, zombies don't start digging, get our defenses, get inside our base. Uh, that would that would not be a good time. Okay, they can't come fast enough here, guys. They're just getting destroyed. Okay, we have some more coming in from that direction over there. We'll finish these guys off and then head over to the other side here. Yeah, look at that loot dropping. Loving it. <laughs> oh, this is great. I feel way too safe, guys. Something's going to happen. Something's going to happen that makes... It's going to change that here. So, we got dire wolves here the first few nights. Last horde night, we didn't get any. And this horde night here... I don't know, guys. Just really bad draws here, I guess, on the random spawns in. But, I mean, that gives us more time, more energy 
uh, less replacing of stuff to do, you know what I mean? Yeah, like not even really any dogs or anything. Whoa, look at the lineup of them over there. <laughs> Just empty some bullets into them for fun. Oh my god, listen to that. Just getting shredded down there. Cooked and shredded, guys. That's what they're getting right now. Cooked and shredded. How about that? Little zombie factory here. We're going to put them in jars. Oh, wow. Those guys are standing at that fence so hard. It's actually killing them. And they seem to be doing it. I wonder what is triggering. That. We really need to try to replicate that, guys. If you guys notice, have any observations, please, please do let me know in the comments below. Thousand eyes is better than one pair of eyes, right? Oh, it's almost morning time, damn it. I'm having fun here stacking up XP and loot bags. I actually have quite a bit of loot bags here dropping this horde night. Yeah, another loot bag right there. I like it too because by the time they come up here, uh, they're pretty softened up. Yeah, that's really weird how they're getting stuck like that. This is okay though. This is uh, not even a challenge. It's pretty much a, a free XP uh, test your horde base night. I'm sure our horde night's coming here, guys. I'm sure it's coming. Some of these blade traps here, I think, are starting to break down. Yeah, I'm starting to hear that broken blade trap noise now. Uh, so, next Horde Night, what I should do is I, I brought some repair stuff. I don't think I brought steel, though. Uh, no, I did not bring steel. Uh, so, we'll have to bring steel to repair the, uh, the blade traps. Just in case, especially once we start getting radiated and whatnot, right? Wow, look at them all, and it's that one spot too, it seems. They get really, really stuck there. Maybe it's where the one goes out? There we go. Release those guys off the fence here. Oh, no. Ooh. Survive five blood moons is complete. Nice. We got another challenge. Okay. Holy crap. That was crazy, guys. Uh, so what I'm going to do here is jump down. We'll finish off the zombies that are down here. 
These guys still stuck on the outer fence. There we go. I'm going to dump my Horde Knight loot, and we're going to go and grab all of the new loot here. There we go. I believe that is it. That is all. I'll probably turn... Yeah, you know what? Not probably. I'm going to turn off these defenses, because if not, uh, they're going to own me. Ah, what a successful Horde Knight, though, guys. I almost felt that that was more of crowd management uh, than anything else, really. Okay, so we're going to turn those off, and I'm going to go over to our powerhouse here and turn the electric fence off, because I almost forgot about that, too. <laughs> we're so overburdened. We're going to dump everything in there. We got some stuff on Hard Night that we picked up, but let's check this stuff out here. Oh. Oh, sweet. I can't actually clear that fence. I just got to be really, really careful. Uh, so that got... Uh, there's a zombie explosion over here, and it didn't, didn't look like it actually did too much damage. The nice thing about this, one observation, guys, I the stuff isn't in the spikes. I don't have to destroy spikes. I don't have to poke myself. Uh, it's all generally here uh, in the same area. I'm seeing some decent stuff pop up here. Uh, so we got some on this side, then one blue one way out on the outside there. Oh, some legendary. Saw some legendary in there, guys. Okay, what's this last blue one have here? Another legendary and a bunch of books. Uh, so, kind of disappointing that we didn't have any dire wolves show up. I wanted to see how well our uh, base would hold up against a dire wolf. And they do give red loop eggs. I like them red loop eggs. Damn it. Okay, let's see what we have here. We have Machine Gunner Volume 6. Uh, increasing rag chance to ragdoll an enemy with each hit. Okay, we're going to read that here. Uh, urban combat. Uh, landmines don't detonate when stepped on. Thank God. Yeah, that's one of the ones I think you really need that I hadn't got yet. We got Shotgun Messiah Volume 7. Targets with the full health. Take 20% more damage. Ooh, that's nice for Horde Knight with our shotguns here. And the rest of these uh, are magazines. We got to do some... Uh, some learning with but we got two legendary parts okay and uh, a decent amount of magazines here now i'm gonna put on hey where'd it go oh uh, you know what i left it downstairs let's, let's go downstairs here i'll organize here after uh, after horde night i like to dump my regular stuff in one of these empty chests well by dump i meant uh, i guess leave two things in here uh so we're gonna wear this and read these bad boy magazines. Bad boy magazines. That's, that, you know, take that with a, a grain of salt. Uh, so I'm going to let those roll through here. We got contact grenades, pump shotguns. And that's it. Okay, so we got Forge Ahead here. I think we needed just two more. Nice, we can make the Crucible now. We are done with Forge Ahead. That's another whole tree. Vehicle Adventures. This is where the action's really at. 40 of 100. We just need five more to get the motorcycle, damn it. Okay, cool beans. This is going to take me a little while to get all this stuff put away here, guys. Uh, but I am going to do so. If you did enjoy this episode, let me know down in the comments below. Uh, were you surprised about how effective that horde, beta, horde base was here uh, this Horde night? If you were, let me know. If you weren't, also let me know. I'll talk to you guys later. Stay classy.